This video segment, what I'm going to do is get into answering questions about the gear, more specifically of how I pack. Uh, when I meet people on the trail, I, I get a lot of questions when they look at my setup here on how I'm packed, where I put everything, especially when I'm camping. You know, they look and they wonder, where do I keep a tent, where do I keep a sleeping bag, things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just basically go through the bike, just pull everything out, let you see where everything is, where everything goes. Uh, one of the first questions I want to answer is the weight. Uh, I get a lot of questions regarding how, he how heavy everything is. As you see right here, depending on how much food and water I carry, looking at probably 75 pounds, that's a bike and everything. And um, as we go through the, as I go through the bike here and pull everything out, what I will not do is I'm not going to be getting into um, the name brands of things. I'm just going to pull it out, let you see it. If you want to know what type of gear I'm carrying, brand name stuff, that's available on, on my blog under the gear section. So feel free to look that up. Uh, everything that's listed on there is pretty much still everything that I carry. A couple of items have changed over time, but, but not much. Uh, starting at the front of the bike, this little pocket right here. As I unclamp it, nice little pocket. I can take this into the tent with me at night because it carries a lot of nice items such as map of the route or area that I'm biking in. iPad mini, uh, very important for um, just kind of Keeping in contact when I have Wi-Fi, I, I, this is what I blog on when I'm on the trail with the Bluetooth keyboard. Store my music on here when I want to listen to some tunes while I'm out riding. And uh, also able to put ebooks on this. Uh, going through here. Backup battery pack, rechargeable. Uh, two USB ports on the front able to charge things like the iPad, my phone, uh, other electronics that I keep on the bike that are also rechargeable. Um, I, when I'm on the trail for a long time, I can just stop, plug this into a, a wall outlet, let it charge back up. Smarties, sometimes I have a sweet tooth. So that's the pocket, staying on the front of the bike. GPS rides right here on the stem able to just kind of keep track of where I am. Cycle computer, speed, distance, even temperature. Well, mountain feed bag. Keep snacks right there for while I'm riding. Round to the front still. This This is a tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pad. Uh, a lot of people find it hard to believe that everything is crammed into here. We're going to open up. I'm going to show you how it's all packed. First thing to pull out, this is, this is my tent. One person, just big enough for me. Don't need much more. This is the rain fly for the tent. As you notice, as I pull things out, everything's just kind of crammed in. Um, best way to pack things. The folding, I found just it just took up too much space. wasn't able to get as much in as I wanted to. This right here, this is sleeping pad. Inflatable, rolled up in here. This is my hello slash inflator for the, the sleeping pad. As you see, the sleeping pad, this is a three-quarter pad. I'm a side sleeper, so 
I mostly kind of pull up my legs on the side. I don't need don't need that extra. Uh, by going with a three quarter pad, I save a lot of space, save a lot of weight. How this this works? This part plugs in there. And by plugging this hole, essentially just doing CPR within about a minute, I have a fully inflated pad. When I want to use it as a pillow, plug, plug that up right there. Seal that off, nice comfy pillow for the evening. Still in the front roll. That pulls. Tent stakes. This is a called a footprint for the tent. Put this down underneath the tent, helps keep mud off the tent, and also protects it from sticks and things like that from poking to the bottom of the tent. Last item in here. Sleeping bag. Sleeping, yes, that's a sleeping bag compressed in there. This is in a dry compression bag, waterproof, and these straps here allow me to compress it down in this neat little package that you see. Uh, if you want to know how a dry compression bag works, there's a lot of videos online. You see how people use these, how they're able to pack in a sleeping bag and get it down into a small package like this. So, switch in here, fold this, fold the sleeping bag right out. So, down filled bag. Very comfy, as you can see it's kind of wide. It is designed for side sleeping, which works well for me. And nice little hood compartment there for when it's chilly. Now down here on the forks, I have a system they're called anything cages. I like to describe it as just a large water bottle cage to hold bags like this. This particular bag holds my water filtration system. When out on the trail, you need to find water uh, from a source, pull it from a river, stream, pond, mud hole, I've done that. When you get a little desperate for water. So this filtration system, this is a gravity feed system. And how this works is this bag right here holds about four liters of water. You go through, dip this in the in your water source, river, whatever it is. Fill that bag, and then here's the actual filter system. This plugs right in here. Hang it, and then just gravity feeds through the filter down into whatever I'm going to fill for the day. Here's an extra bladder, uh, two liters. Sometimes there's many miles in between water source, even just, even just finding a river or stream, you can go a day or two. So it's essential to carry as much water as possible at some, at some points. The anything cage on the other side, I'm located on the other fork over here. Mostly closed. I have managed to cram food in here a couple of times when I know food is going to be scarce for a couple of days. But mostly closed. Windbreaker. Rain pants. Rain jacket.
down jacket so it gets a little chilly. Cool weather gloves. Now I don't necessarily ride with gloves at all. Those, that's the only time I wear gloves is when it gets chilly. Uh, a warm hat. Some leg warmers. And arm warmers. That empties that bag. On the front of the bike here, I also carry about a six foot cable with a small combination lock. Uh, go into a store or something, uh, stop, get pizza, anything like that. I can lock the bike up if I just don't feel it's a secure area, but for the most part, I really don't lock up the bike. Uh, many times I just roll it right into the store. Uh, people don't have a problem with that. Okay, this bag right here on top, they call this a gas tank. Headphones, titanium spork, GoPro camera, lip balm with a sunscreen, earplugs come in handy once in a while when sleeping. Wind blowing, lots of noise, tent flapping, can't, not able to sleep, or maybe even have a uh, camping partner sleeping in the next tent. You can hear him snoring over there. Um, these are water water purification tabs for uh, just in case backup, just in case the water filter isn't working for some reason. Uh, very essential to have water. Keep very very important. Spare batteries for the GPS. Uh, memory card for the GPS uh, for long trips uh, when I have a route. The um, extra track is carried on there and a headlamp for walking around camp at night. Coming back to this bag, uh, first thing I have here, flint striker. Starting a fire or lighting my stove. Lighter. And flashlight slash headlamp for the bike. Put that on there and I can clamp that on. If, if I have to be riding after dark, I'm not much of an after dark rider, but you never know. It's always good to be prepared just in case. Um, wipes, lens wipes for the camera, sunglasses, reading glasses, whatever I need to clean off. Leatherman, all purpose tool, pliers, knife, screwdriver can opener or bottle opener. That would be the bottle opener because can opener is right here. Middle of the bike, have my tire pump. And then down here on the bottom, you can see riding right behind the front tire where it catches a lot of mud. This is why I put this bag on here with an elastic water. Can't carry enough water sometimes. The frame bag, here's a small pocket on this side. Wet wipes, sunscreen, reading glasses. That's it for that pocket. Okay, coming to the other side, this gets into the, the main pocket of the, of the frame bag. And uh, next item I'm gonna pull out is my two liter water bladder, which is connected to this hose right here with a bite valve on it for drinking while riding. Now this bag contains all the charging cables for 
camera, GoPro, iPad, just just a mishmash of things we need to charge. Uh, toiletries, uh, deodorant, toothpaste. Let's see, we've got shampoo, a little mirror, some dental floss. This is a spare inner tube. Even though my bike I'm running tubeless, um, there's a like a gel system in there that kind of keeps the, the tire inflated. Should anything penetrate the tire, it's automatically sealed up. But if just in case there's a catastrophic failure with the tire and it won't hold air through the tubeless system, a spare tube just to get me back to civilization. Um, spare tire sealant, this is what keeps everything sealed up inside the tire. Chain lube. A tool kit for the bike. Uh, little multi-tool in here, different size wrenches and things like that. Tire patch kit. Uh, tire levers for taking the tire on and off. Things like that. First aid kit. Now this little container here has, of all things, cotton balls in it. Learned from uh, through a, through a survival thing. This is a great fire starter. Put some found put some chain lube on here. Light it. Creates a nice fire that uh, burns for for a little while. Help you get some kindling going. Start a fire. And the last item in this bag, spare parts, uh, extra shifter cable, extra brake cable, brake pads, a small length of chain, because you never know. Okay, we did that. Um, now back to the, the seat bag here. Camp shoes. Good to get out of the cycling shoes for the day. Now uh, this little bag on top of the seat bag here is mesh. Uh, one of the very important items I carry with me is a spot GPS locator. What this does is it sends a uh, my GPS coordinates um, up to satellite, and family members are able to track exactly where I am. Uh, at, any given time, uh, it's coordinated with a map. This also comes, um, has an SOS button on it. Should I get into any trouble, I can push this button and have emergency services uh, dispatched to my exact location. And yes, mom, you're welcome. In this bag also is probably about 50, 50 feet of rope with a little carabiner on the end. Uh, many good uses, but mostly for traveling through bear country, stringing the food up into, high up in a tree. Going into the seat bag itself, this is where I carry a lot of my food. Uh, things like this, like dry food, really like to carry things like this, nice and lightweight. It's hard to find, um, freeze-dried meals out on the trail. So things like this that I can get at a grocery store that all I have to do is just um, cook in hot water as long as I don't have to add margarine or, or butter with it. Perfect. Uh, traveling through a lot of small towns, really the, sometimes the only thing to get your hands on are canned goods. Heat and eat type stuff. Camp stove, camp cookware, all that right here. Little pot, camp stove. Looks into the, this is the fuel can for it. Screws 
down there, sometimes easier than that. Okay. So, that's how I heat food, heat up water, whatever I need to, just like that. Instant gourmet meals on the trip. Towel. And the item that hit the floor here is my washcloth. Extra shirt, just like the one I'm wearing. So two shirts travel with me. A pair of camping shorts. It's good to get out of the cycling shorts for the day. Second pair of camp shorts. These are um, just the shell. I only, I only cycle with one liner. I will, uh, every day I, when I take a liner off, I'll, I'll try to wash it if I happen to be near any type of white water source. Spare pair of socks, so two pair, um, two pair of socks travel with me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it. Uh, whether it be two months, two days, a week, this is pretty much it. Um, I have gotten into carrying some other things, like if I don't have to carry the water filter with me, um, because I know that water is going to be readily available, I did start carrying this with me. It fits nicely right here in the anything cage. And this is a nice little camp stool. I'll show you how this goes together. Well, it's kind of nice to have a place to sit after a day of pedaling. Nice little camp stool. If you have any questions regarding the gear that I'm carrying, how I carry it, anything like that, feel free to drop me a comment um, in the blog uh, posted below this video. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please visit my, my blog, uh, monobiker.com. Would love to answer any questions you have. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Thank you for watching.